good day at uh, St. Francis today. We're gonna go look for some Chalyun and Cracker, go along Shelly. Have not been here since last winter. I'm very excited, but I'm fishing alone today. See, so this is my fishing partner over Slip, but he might join us a bit later. Uh, we had some fun uh, fishing in J-Bay the past few days with some massive zebras caught, some plenty blacktail and one or two Chalyun. We lost some Cracker. Uh, but yeah, something different for today. The sea's up, we've got a run of massive swell. So it's a good spot here, Shelly. Still very early in the season for the Khalyun apparently, but um, there's a few around, so I'm sure we'll get something. Conditions look good, and yeah, excited to see what the day brings. Now, Shelly and this whole area is renowned for good Khalyun and cracker catches, even big shad, as well as white stembras. Shelly has produced many, many good stories of anglers getting busted up by some really prized fish. really nice proper frot red bait here. Cut it off the rocks early on in the week. It's been hanging in the tree for about four days so hopefully the khali like it. I think I'm just going to start with a nice small piece for the morning. See if there's bites first. Get my cotton. Okay not too much cotton. This is maybe a little too much already but that's fine. Just a nice small little, yeah, look at that stuff. Got a little 2 o kobu circle there. Um, yeah, I like the small little red baits. It works fine, but you can go quite big. I think this cast I'll start small, see if there's a, a bite or anything, and then next cast I'll sort of like make a bit of a bigger bait, see if we can't attract some fish. But yeah, put this one in and then get a cracker bait out. This baby cracker picked up the Khalyun bait. Meantime, the cracker rod is out there with some lacquer armadillo, still waiting. But hey, first fish for the morning, so we'll take it. Um, I think we'll tag this one. Let's get a measurement and, and see. Nice little start. Like a fun, actually. So. I mean, it's a pretty small cracker, but check out that, that head. It's still such a hardy, solid fish. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get a measurement, there we go, on the nose, go to the fork of the tail, good, pull him away, he goes back in the water. I love keeping a bucket like this with me when I fish in the rocks because you can catch a fish, you can take it easy, you can just revive a bit if you need, and you can take your time, you can, don't have to rush or anything. So let's see, yeah, cracker is 42, pretty much on the dot. It's a nice tagging size. Legal size to, to keep a cracker is 60 centimeters. So 
They're definitely like well in the size still, but you see how strong they are even at this size. See, we tagged that little cracker. It was 42 centimeters. Measured fairly accurately, got all the information, so we'll upload this to Ori, the Oceanic Research Institute of South Africa. And then if anyone else catches that cracker in the future, we'll get to see where they caught it and how much it grew. So yeah, like a fun tagging then. Now getting closer to winter, all the rock fishing tackle comes out, fishing for Holyun. And then every so often you get busted up by the mussel crackers. In this area we've learned to fish heavy gauge hooks for the whole yun in areas we know the mussel crackers are known to pop up. Guy, but target species. We kind of got the conditions a bit wrong because it's dropping tide, usually like a more full push tide here, but at least we found one. So, small guy, but really nice. Nice size, took the bait like a. Oh, I love these fish. It's so cool. Makes it quite easily on the top. So, yeah. Like a, there's a. It's dinner for me and my wife. <laughs> we don't eat a lot of fish, so the smaller ones actually eat nicer for us. Mm-hmm. 
Now the very next day, the cameraman didn't go with Michael. He managed to get this really nice muscle cracker in Jeffrey's Bay and also managed to get some photos. And as you can see, also on a small look and red bait. Next up, we're joining Daniel on one of his rock fishing excursions. There are the two teats. You can see if you squeeze them, sometimes there's water that just still does come out. Oh, this one, you see when it gets that, oh, that's not right. That's just, you don't even want to cut that open. So just behind the teats, you cut just the teats off, it's like a lid. And you just pop it out with your finger. Oh, that's nice and slimy. It's just to hold it so it doesn't bunch down and cover the point of the hook. 
On the front, it's just one or two turns. You want to keep that bait as natural looking as possible. moving around gives it a bit of laugh. Let's go and give this one a try. Thank you for watching ASFN. Please like this video as it really helps us. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video.